What's going on YouTube? Back here with a brand new video and today I got my 2010 quad core 2.8 gigahertz uh, Mac Pro and we're going to be upgrading the storage today. So the current situation is I have a 120 gig SanDisk SSD in there right now and it's kind of slow. Um, now I've been kind of tossing the idea around of getting a PCIe SSD like a one of the ones that are attached via SATA and the SATA card or the SSD goes into the SATA card and connects to the PCI slot but I was also pricing up the cost of a M.2 PCI SSD like a NVMe or something like that and it actually turned out to be cheaper than the SATA PCI SSD so what we have here today is the Right here, we got the SM951 A8CI edition because this is going to be a boot drive. So, this is going to be going to the 2010 Mac Pro. Alright, so we're on the desktop of uh, Mac OS Sierra. So, what we're going to do first, we're going to do a baseline benchmark of the SSD that's in there. It's, uh, remember, the Mac Pro, all of them are SATA 2, not SATA 3. So, you're not getting the full advantages of the SATA 3 SSD that's in there now. So, we're going to go ahead and do a benchmark. To see where we are now and after the video we're going to compare the PCI M.2 SSD to the SATA SSD so we're going to go ahead and begin the test okay so there's the results um, I'm going to post a screenshot on the screen so you can see it better but it's on the right it's 239 uh, 239 megabits a second and for the read it's 255 megabytes a second so you know it's average you know pretty much maxing out the SATA 2 bus um, so yeah, now we're going to shut it down, get it on the side, and we're going to go ahead and start installing the PCI SSD. Okay, so, got the computer up on the desk. Um, just to go over a quick couple of specs, it has a GTX 980, I'm sorry, 960, uh, 6 gigs of RAM, 2.8 gigahertz quad core uh, Xeon, it has a 1 terabyte hard drive, 2 terabyte hard drive, and this is the existing SSD that's in there now. So what we're going to have to do is we have to tear this out since we cannot get a boot screen. We can't get to the menu, the installation menu for Sierra with this card. So we're going to have to install the original uh, ATI Radeon 5770. So I'm going to go get a screwdriver. And... All right, so we got the GTX 960 out. So now all we have to do is just slide this in. Now I'm not sure which one, which port I want to do. I think I'm going to do the third one. Um, let me see if I'm loving the shot. Okay. Put this in right here. Get it in there right there. Come on, you. Curse big fingers. Uh, is that going to work? Yes. Yep, and it's in. That is the SM951 in the Mac Pro. Now, what we gotta do is I have to make a bootable Sierra USB drive and install it. So I will come back once that's done. All right, so here we are back on the 2009 MacBook Pro. And as you can see, we have the uh, bootable USB all up and running now. That that's done, we can go ahead and install Sierra on the PCI SSD. Now, I'm going to do some reading because I'm not sure if you actually have to have it in an X4 slot or X16 slot. So, I'll be right back once that's done. But, for the most part, we're pretty much done with the hardware part. All we got to do now is just uh, plug in the bootable USB and hope it installs. Alright, so we're back set up on the test bench set up. Now, it's time to see if this thing actually boots and installs to the SSD. Now, I don't think you need any text or anything like that to get the AHCI version working, but I'm not too sure. Um, we're going to see. We're going to see. We're going to boot up for the first time now, see if it installs. If not, install some text, disable you know, the system integrity protection thing. We should be good, but I'm going to go ahead and try it without that stuff. And uh, let's see what it does. That's a good sign. Okay. 
Hey, we got a charm, so that's good. All right, come on. What? Come on, something. Give me something. Go on now. Is it plugged in all the way? Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. All right. Um. Okay, right. Uh, S10 base system. And it's going to take a while because it's on USB 2.0. And, you know, it's a... You know, USB, so it's going to take a while. All right, so check that out. Oh, get that out. <laughs> so there it is, Samsung MZHP, whatever, 256 gig initialized PCIe, solid state. Yep, everything looks correct. So we're going to erase this, call it the, what are we going to call it? PCI. E Mac SSD. I'm just gonna call it. Yeah, I'm call it Macintosh SSD. Macintosh SSD. All right, good. So, yep, GUID. Yep, yep. Okay, yep. Look how quick that was. Wow. So. What we can do now, I'm not going to do like a restore or anything like that. I'm going to do it as a, <clears throat> a fresh install just because I don't want any issues or I can never, I didn't really have too much information on there anyway. So let's go ahead and use English as a main language. Yes. Continue. Continue. Agree. All right. Macintosh SSD. Now, yeah. 12 minutes remaining. Cool. So, yeah, pretty straightforward, guys. Nothing, you know, no kex to deal with if you're getting the AHCI version. If you're getting the NVMe version, yeah, you know, you have to do some kex, disable system integrity, and, you know, you can't use it as a boot drive. But I just want to use it as a really quick, nice boot drive. Um, I'm thinking about getting another one for a editing drive, but we'll see. That's highly unlikely. Um, but what I'm going to do... I was going to come back when this is finished installing. I'm going to put this back on the main setup and uh, we'll do a test once this is done installing. So be right back. And I forgot to add, um, the reason that this is here, I used um, DOS Dude One's patcher. I just had this lying around, this uh, the app. I was just like, hey, I don't really feel like you know doing the DMG method or the whatever method. So I was like, yeah, I'll just use this to... You know, to install it. And it shouldn't have any issues. I'm not going to be patching anything. So this should be just fine. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'll come back. Now I actually will come back when it's finished installing. And we'll get to the desktop. Alright, All right, so. The installation is complete. We're going to go ahead and restart now. Fan spinning up. A good sign. Okay, good. So at the welcome screen, I'm going to put my information in here. And I will come back to you when we're at the desktop. Okay, so we're back at the desktop. This is post PCI SSD install, so we're going to go ahead and give it a shot. Yeah, look at those speeds. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Just what I was expecting. Good, good, good. All right, guys, so we're all wrapped up with the install. Overall, very smooth process, very easy, straightforward. Um, this is going to be great for editing off of. It's also going to be a great boot drive. Uh, I would highly recommend this upgrade as it's faster and more inexpensive than a SATA-attached PCIe drive, if that makes any sense. So thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.